Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Researching can be a very daunting task. Searching on the internet, finding reliable sources, sorting through long articles and research papers is time consuming, and writing a summary for all that is even harder. That's why, with AI, most people have started using AI powered search engines such as Perplexity and You. These platforms claim to be alternatives to traditional search engines, allowing you to directly pose your questions and receive concise, accurate answers backed by a curated set of sources. They have a conversational interface, contextual awareness, and personalization to learn your interests and preferences over time. Well, technically, they are just using Bing or Google API combined with a GPT model. But they don't like saying that. They just don't want you to know what simple task they are doing in the back. They want to onboard users who can pay for their $20 membership, which is not worth it at all considering the little work. If you compare it with ChatGPT, ChatGPT now offers a search capability in their options, which obviously seems much more beneficial than paying perplexity that dollar twenty. It's just not worth it in my opinion. That's why I have covered multiple such alternatives on my channel. Because what perplexity does can be done by any open source alternative. But today, I have another such alternative called Farfale. Farfale is an AI powered search engine and is an open source alternative to perplexity. Farfale works with OpenAI, Olama, and Grok so you'll be able to use it with local models if you want. For the search part, you can use it with Tavali, Serper, or CRXNG. CRXNG is a local search engine, so you won't need any API key. But if you use Tavali or Serper, then you'll need an API key. If you don't want to install it locally, they also have a live demo. Here you can use it with Grok and GPT 3.5. To use it, just go to their site. Over here, you can select one of the models from these options, and if you search for anything, you'll see that it is literally very fast. It's almost equivalent to the speed of perplexity. It's pretty cool. So, if you don't want to install it locally, you can use this as well. Anyway, now let me tell you how you can use it locally. I'll be telling you about how you can get it installed with Olama and the Phi 3 model. Since Phi 3 is a very small model, it will be really great for any computer even without a GPU. I'll also be telling you about how you can use it with Grok for fast inference speeds. Grok is free to use for rate limited usage. Anyway, let's get it installed. First, go to Olama's site. Over here, Click on the download button. Choose your operating system and get it installed. Now, once it has been installed, go to the models and choose the Phi 3 model. Copy the command and paste it into your terminal. This will get the Phi 3 model installed on your computer. You can also use any other model as well. Anyway, once it has been installed, you'll see this chat interface. Go ahead and send a message to check if it's working. Okay, once that's done, go to the Farfile GitHub page. Over here, clone the repo on your computer. Once cloned, CD into the repo. Now, run this command, and this will create the environment variable file. Once done, open the NV file in an editor. Now, I'll be using the Tavali method. You can also use CRXNG, but that would require setting up the CRXNG server first. Anyway, to set up Tavali, go to Tavali's site. Get yourself signed up. Once you are signed up, get the API key from there. Once you have the API key, keep it in a safe place. Once that's done, copy this from their GitHub page and paste it into your environment file. To use any other method like CRXNG or Tavali, you can also just copy-paste the required variables for it. Anyway, here you'll need to enter your API key. So, go ahead and add it over here. 
Once this is done, save the file. Now, we'll need to run this command. But before running it, make sure that you have Docker installed. If you don't have that, go to Docker's site and follow the instructions to get it installed from there. Once that is figured out, run this command. Wait for some minutes. So, it seems like it also installs the CRXNG server by default. If you want to use that, you can just change the environment variables for that. Anyway, once it's done, the application should be started. Now, go over to localhost with port 3000. Okay, over here you'll see the application. Now select the local option. Now choose the PI3 model and send a query. As you can see, it's really, really fast. It's pretty amazing, to say the least. You can also do follow-ups, view sources, and more. It's literally very equivalent to perplexity. Let me also tell you how you can get Grok configured with this. To get Grok configured, first, go to Grok's site and sign up. Once that's done, go to the API keys option and create a new API. Once created, copy the API key. Now, open up your environment variable file and enter your Grok API key like this. Once you put it here, go ahead and restart the application. Once it's done, open the application. Select the HyperGrok option and send messages. It's extremely fast. I don't see any reason why people would want to use perplexity when you have this option. You can also go on their site and use it from there. It's free to use on their site as well. You can use the Grok option there for free. It's really cool, to say the least. If you want to use it with OpenAI, Grok, or fully locally, you can do all that here. Plus, you can also use it with CRXNG, which will make sure that everything stays local. With Grok, it becomes extremely fast as well, just like Perplexity. Although some features are still being added, like Focus and other such features, it has a great way to go from here. Instead of paying $1.20 to Perplexity, you should start using this. It's open source, and if you use it, give them a star on GitHub as well. It will motivate them to work on the project even more. This is one of the best Perplexity alternatives I have seen. It's super easy to set up and use. I really like this one. Anyway, go ahead and give it a try. And let me know your results in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.